Hi, welcome to another video. So, OpenAI has finally launched GPT-5, and let me tell you about it. First of all, there are multiple types of GPT-5. There are actually five versions. There's GPT-5, GPT-5 Mini, GPT-5 Nano, GPT-5 Pro, and GPT-5 Chat as well. GPT-5 is the coding and agentic-focused model that aims to be the best model for coding and agentic tasks across domains. This is the model that you generally want to use in something like RuCode or any agentic coder as well. All their models have a 400k context window, which is a bit of a bummer for a new gen model. I mean, these are the days of a 1 million context window, but still, it's better than 200k. If we talk about the pricing, then it costs $1.25 for input and $10 for output, which is pretty good pricing for a soda model. This model can come with a reasoning variant or a non-reasoning variant as well, based on how you want to use it. They say that this is their best model yet, and the benchmarks and stuff are there, but I won't talk about that as much. Then there's GPT-5 Mini, which is below the GPT-5 model and aims to be a faster, more cost-efficient version of GPT-5 for well-defined tasks. It also has the same context window as well, it also supports reasoning, and the pricing for it is also pretty good. It costs about 25 cents and $2, which is quite awesome for sure. And GPT-5 Nano is supposed to be the smallest model and aims to be their fastest and cheapest version as well. They say that it's great for summarization and classification tasks. It costs only 5 cents and 40 cents. And... GPT-5 chat is a chat-focused model that points to the GPT-5 snapshot currently used in chat GPT, which is trained for human preference and stuff. You can use this for chat-focused scenarios. Meanwhile, GPT-5 Pro is supposed to be the best model that replaces things like O3 Pro. It will only be available on chat GPT's Pro plan for now, and it is still being rolled out as well. So, these are the models that have been launched. There are basically three main models, GPT-5, Nano, and Mini, and it's majorly these only. Also, these models have a new minimal reasoning option as well, where it almost does no reasoning. Another thing is a verbosity parameter that allows you to set the model output length to be low in places where you need low cost, but better stuff. So, let's talk a bit about their official benchmarks as well. They say that it scores SOTA numbers on SWE Bench, as well as Ader Polyglot benchmarks, which is quite cool to see. Also, it's good and all, but what is this chart? I mean, 69 and 30 are on the same level, while 74 is like 60% higher than 69, which is literally a chart crime at this point. The model is still being rolled out in the API and is not yet fully available. But once it's available, you can try out this model via their API. If you want to use it for free, then you will find it on the GitHub Models API, where you should be able to get some good API limits for free. If you want to use any of the model variants and any reasoning, then you can actually use it via Kilo code where you can easily set up the new model with the API, and then you get $20 of free credit, and you can use that as well. Now, let me show you how you can use it as a coder as well. But first, let's talk about today's sponsor, Dart. Tired of juggling tasks across different tools? Dart combines traditional project management with powerful AI features that actually get work done. Beyond organizing tasks and boards, Dart's AI can brainstorm project ideas, generate task lists, and even complete entire assignments for you. Their composer-like AI agent understands your full project context, so you can simply chat with it to create, edit, or delete tasks naturally. The real game changer is the custom agents. You can create custom agents 
agents that trigger from the built-in integrations or a N8N workflow or custom webhook for full customization. You can create a coding agent that pushes pull requests to GitHub, a marketing agent for campaigns, or a mailing agent for outreach. Then, just assign tasks and watch them get completed automatically. Plus, Dart integrates seamlessly with your existing workflow through their MCP server, connecting directly to Claude, ChatGPT, and other AI tools you're already using. Most features are completely free, with premium options starting at just $8 per month. Check out Dart through the link in the description. It might just transform how you work. Now, back to the video. You can actually just head on over to VS Code and make sure that you upgrade it to the latest version. Once that is done, you can actually install the Copilot extension. And here you will see GPT-5 appear soon. And you can use it with the free Copilot limits as well, which will be awesome. While for paid, you can actually go to Klein and then go to Settings and then select the OpenAI option and then select the new model here and put in your API key and you can keep using it as well, which will be kind of cool for sure. You can also use it with RuCode, where you can easily go to it and make sure that you update it as well. And then you can just select the provider and then use the new model. You can also use it via Open Router or Requesty as well if you want to do that, which will be kind of fine. So you can just do that as well. Now, if you want to use it for free, then just search for Kilo Code on the VS Code Marketplace and then you can just open it, and it will just allow you to get $20 of free credits that you can use in order to build some cool stuff with it as well. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and select the Kilo Code option, and then select the new GPT-5 option, and then you can go ahead and use it as well. You can also use the Nano and Mini options as well, which is kind of cool for sure. I am still testing the model, and the testing video will probably be live tomorrow because I'm going fully deep into the testing. So, please watch that when it comes out tomorrow because just from the get-go, I'm seeing some interesting stuff, to say the least. You can go ahead and use the model. They are still rolling it out, so you should see it soon if you're not seeing it in something like open router or stuff as well. So, you can wait and then check that out as well. That is majorly about it. You can go ahead and use this model and comment what it is that you are thinking about the model and how well or badly it is working for you as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.